My name is Ben Steinman, and I started Rotor Visual back in 2015 to focus on developing and operating commercial unmanned aerial systems, or drones. In late 2019, it felt like it was time to go big, and I began designing a new aircraft capable of lifting pretty much any camera system. So join me on this journey as I document the process of building a massive drone. So let's talk about this project a little bit. I'm building another hexacopter, but this time it's going to be rather large. I've named this prototype project Roku, as in the number six in Japanese. Not to be confused with the TV streaming box of the same name. This aircraft is designed around 76 centimeter propellers, which is about 30 inches, with a motor diameter of 150 centimeters, or about five feet. As far as features are concerned, I wanted to tick certain boxes. One of the major things I wanted to pull off with this aircraft is not having to make compromises when it comes to payload. If a director of photography wants to lift a fully decked out red, airy, high speed, or even a Hasselblad with a big prime or zoom lens and a complete fizz system, then so be it. I don't want to have to tell them it will be too heavy, within reason. Another important feature is versatility. Having a modular mounting plate system will allow the drone to be configured to carry any sort of gimbal or camera bracket. The ability to carry any type of sensor, whether it's a traditional camera or even LiDAR, in top or bottom orientations will give this machine so many possibilities. After building larger multi-rotors with both 6 and 8 propellers over the years, and watching motor and ESC options evolve in that time, it started to feel that 6 strikes the right balance between redundancy, power, and complexity. While 8 motors could potentially have more lifting capacity, it pretty much goes without saying that having eight motors inherently makes the system more complex than having six. Of course, four motors would simplify the system even more, but losing one of those four power plants in flight spells disaster for a multi-rotor. There are flight controllers with code that have ways of dealing with a motor failure on a quad, but it's not pretty, and I especially wouldn't want to risk the payload in that type of controlled crash. There are obviously existing four motor professional products, including the latest heavy lift by Freefly Systems called the Alta X, and even the DJI Inspire and Matrice series. But to me, six motors just feels right, like how a six cylinder internal combustion engine is naturally balanced and essentially as good as it gets without making complex mechanical compromises. You might ask, why bother with a project like this since there are commercially available products on the market that fit the feature set and capabilities of what I'm trying to accomplish. But I wanted to go in a different direction and explore or some other possibilities when it comes to airframe design as well as the ability to fully customize the avionics from a hardware and a software standpoint. The main point here is that I'm not only an RC pilot and a commercial drone operator, but before any of that happened I was a builder, a maker. I like to know the detailed inner workings of the things I use to do my work. I use a mix of commercially available equipment as well as equipment I build. So stay tuned, in the next video we'll be going over the frame design.